Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie Channel. Hello everyone, we have our new lesson in Science 7 which is all about Meuses is essential in sexual reproduction. This will be the second quarter topic and learning competency number 6. This lesson is under the Matata curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to analyze the role of the meuses in sexual reproduction. The second one is to model the stages of meuses using appropriate materials. And the third one is to appreciate the importance of meuses in maintaining genetic diversity and ensuring the successful reproduction of organism by using the KWL charts. In activating prior knowledge, the learners will identify and label the stages of meuses. In establishing purpose of the lesson for the unlocking of content vocabulary, the students will answer the match type activity. In sexual reproduction, offspring receive half of their genes from one parent and half from the other. The genes are carried on chromosomes in sex cells, also known as gametes or the egg or the sperm cells, which fuse in fertilization. Each parent supplies half of the genetic information needed to form a complete individual. The sperm, which is the sex cell from the father, provides half of the information, and the egg cell, which is the sex cell from the mother, provides the other half. During fertilization, one gamete from each parent combines to form a zygote. Because of recombination and independent assortment in meuses, each gamete contains a different set of DNA. This produces a unique combination of genes in resulting zygote. Recombination in crossing over occurs during the prophase 1. Homologous chromosomes, one inherited from each parent, paired along their lengths, gene by gene. Breaks occur along the chromosomes and they rejoin, trading some of their genes. The chromosomes now have genes in a unique combination. During meuses, one diploid cell undergoes two cycles of cell division but only one round of DNA replication. The result is four haploid daughter cells known as gametes. 
The following are the importance of meuses in sexual reproduction. The first one is the genetic diversity. During meuses, genetic material is randomly assorted and chromosomes are separated, resulting in gametes with unique genetic makeups. This genetic diversity allows for greater variation among offspring, which can be advantageous for adapting to different environments and challenges. Sexual reproduction combined with meuses enables organisms to produce genetically distinct progeny rather than identical clones. Another importance of meuses in sexual reproduction is the chromosome reduction. Meuses reduces the chromosome number by half from diploid state to the haploid state. This is critical for sexual reproduction as the fusion of two haploid gametes during fertilization restores the proper diploid chromosome count in the resulting zygote. Without meuses, the chromosome number would double with each generation, which would be unsustainable. Another importance of meuses in sexual reproduction is the genetic recombination. Meuses also involves the process of genetic recombination where the homologous chromosome exchange the genetic material. This further increases genetic diversity by creating new combinations of alleles. The genetic shuffling that occurs during meuses ensures that offspring Bring inherit a unique set of traits from their parents. For the work example, the students will read each statement carefully and determine if the statement is true or false.